Today on the channel, I'm gonna show the internet my underwear. That's because today on the channel, I'm gonna show you how to fold boxer briefs. Generally speaking, I use two methods, one for traveling, and one for the drawer in my bedroom. There are multiple ways to fold everything, but these two ways for me are the best. So if you wanna see how I do it, hang on to the end. But for now, let's get going. I've been through, I don't know how many brands of boxer briefs, like a lot. I've tried really expensive ones. I've tried super cheap ones. These ones, the premium Joe Fresh boxers, they're eight bucks a pair, but they're really great. But if you're gonna own them, you gotta fold them. There's really no getting around that. So today on the channel, I'm gonna show you how to fold underwear. I use two different methods. I'm gonna show you both. I use one for when I'm traveling. It's a totally different way of folding underwear and one for when I'm at home, it's way gentler on the underwear and looks a lot nicer in the drawer. Basically, when you're folding anything, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's underwear or paper or whatever, you wanna think about the object that you're going to put it in after you fold it up. You wanna fold whatever it is you're folding in whatever manner makes the most sense for the container that you're gonna put it in. If the container is a drawer, a drawer is square. So you want to make your underwear into squares that appropriately fit into that shape. If you're on the go like I am all the time, I'm traveling with gear. I just got back from a job. We had 14 cases of gear. I put all my personals into a duffel bag. A duffel bag is not square. So I needed a different shape to roll my clothes up into so that each piece of clothing was in an appropriate shape to stuff into a duffel bag. Two different needs, two different ways of folding. Let me show you the drawer method first. Some people call this the Komari method. Marie Kondo is pretty famous for having popularized this method of folding, but it's good because in the end, the underwear takes a square shape. It can stand up on its own. And that means when you put it into a drawer, particularly the shallow top drawer that you almost always find in a chest of drawers, you're gonna be able to stand all of your underwear up on end. And that means when you pull open the drawer, you're gonna be able to see all of your underwear and you're gonna be able to pick the appropriate underwear for whatever you're doing. Cause let's face it, it's a different pair of underwear you need if you're gonna go play soccer or you're gonna go work out or you're gonna go out on a first date, right? For most people, I think those tasks have different underwear requirements. So if you can see all of your underwear lined up in a row in your drawer, you're gonna pick the right pair. So this method of folding is conducive towards that end. It's also really gentle on the underwear, doesn't stretch the elastic or anything like that. It's a pretty good method. So basically you start first by flattening out your underwear. I usually put it crotch facing up. And because the underwear isn't a two dimensional object, so you're never gonna get it perfectly laser flat. You just wanna start with as flat a surface as you can get. And then I start on the left side here. I take one side and I fold it over so that one third of the pair of underwear is folded into the middle. You can tell you got one third because once it's folded over, the side that's folded and the side that is not folded are the same width. That means you got it right. When I do this, I try to make sure that I'm lining up the elastic at the top so that everything stays square. Then I take the other side and fold it on top. And then we work in thirds again, but from the bottom. You'll see that this is sort of wider at the bottom than it is at the top. So what I do is I take it from the bottom and I flip it up with my two fingers and I point those corners right in line with the edge of the fabric. That sort of pleats them in a little bit. If I made this flat right now, the corners would stick out the sides. I don't really want that. I want them to stay orderly and nicely tucked inside. So I just sort of point them in line with the folds of the underwear I just made. And then I fold it again. So basically I went side to side, folded it in thirds and went top to bottom, folded it in thirds. And now I'm left with this perfect sort of little package here. It'll stand up on its own. And it's just perfect to stick into my underwear drawer, lined up with all the other ones, all the same shape, all the same size. It's like a record collection or a bookshelf or something. That way I know what kind of underwear I'm grabbing when I'm in a hurry, when it's dark, <laughs> when it's morning, when I haven't had my coffee, I can still find the right pair of underwear. I'm setting myself up for success. But let's say I'm traveling and my needs are different. When you're traveling, you care less about being able to see every pair of underwear and picking the best one. You care more about space conservation and fitting stuff into your bag. For me, when I travel, it's almost always a duffel bag that carries my personals. And I have an added problem of weight. I travel with many, many cases of camera equipment all the time. We're right at the limit for the airlines all the time. If we goof and we're like a pound over or two pounds over, sometimes they make you take something out of one case and put it in another. If I gotta pull out a pair of underwear, <laughs> 
I, I want it to be folded nicely. <laughs> It's way less embarrassing that way. So this method is good for both. It'll fit nicely into a duffel bag. And if you got a bullet out in the middle of the airport in front of a bunch of people, it's a little bit less embarrassing. So what you do, you start off with the underwear flat again. This time when you're starting off, flattening out the underwear, less important, but you can still do it. There's nothing wrong with starting with flat. I always start this time with the underwear inverted. So the elastic is facing me, the legs are facing away from me. And then I take my thumbs and I put them into the elastic just like this. And as you can see, it's right up to the crook of my thumb. And then I use my index fingers and I flip the underwear over and around so that the legs of the underwear, which previously was facing away from me, are flipping over and now they're pointing towards me. At the same time, I rotate my wrists and I push my fingers into the underwear, effectively rolling the elastic band down the trunk of the underwear about two and a half inches. That's sort of optimal. If you don't go far enough, you'll have trouble later. If you go too far, you'll have trouble later. I always shoot for two and a half inches. So at this point, the underwear looks very similar to the last method now that it's flipped over. The legs are facing me, the elastic's at the top on the far end, but the elastic is turned over the top. It's like peeling a banana or something. And then we borrow the technique that we learned in the previous folding method. We take the underwear from the left side and fold one third in. We take the other side and fold it on top. So now just like the other method, the width of the underwear is currently one third the width of the underwear if it were completely unfolded. Only difference now, the elastic is turned down at the top. Since I'm traveling, this is gonna go in a duffel bag. It's gonna get the malarkey kicked out of it anyway. I can roll this. So I grab it at the bottom, by the bottom of the legs, and I start rolling. I roll and I roll. I get closer to the top. I get to the elastic that's turned down at the top. I go past that elastic. And by doing so, I expose the under side, which is the other side of the elastic, it comes out and I just roll it over the whole thing and ball it up into a nice tight package. If you look at this package, it kind of looks like a duffel bag, right? It's like you're putting a bunch of little duffel bags into a big duffel bag. And this thing is not coming apart. It doesn't matter what security does to it. It doesn't matter what the airline does to it. It's going to stay in this tight bundle. They call this the ranger roll or the military fold. The reason for that is it's pretty tough. It's not coming undone. The bonus with this is that for sure, you're going to know as you go through your trip and you wear a pair of underwear each day, you're going to know which are dirty and which are clean because the clean ones are balled up like this and the dirty ones aren't. <laughs> So there you have it, my friends, two ways to fold up your underwear. I hope that helped you out. And I got a question for you. Do you have other methods for folding underwear that I am unaware of? If you do, please feel free to leave those in the comments section below. I love it when people share tips and tricks with me. So let me know in the comments section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you could like or subscribe to this channel, that would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks again for watching. And as always, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects. I'll see you next Saturday.